part two of Columbia State Historic Park. You want to hold mommy's hand? Before we pan for gold, we check out this little museum, and the best part is it was free admission. What are those? Those are guns, huh? He said a person that was holding a gun. Yeah, he was trying to ask us for gold, right? Chris Lynn was pretty excited to see this carrot. This little museum shows a lot of the town's rich history, including some of the early mining methods and how the people searched for gold. It was also pretty cool to see the different weighing scales they used back in the day. And the current price for gold, $1,864 per ounce. Unfortunately, when we got there, they were about to close, so we had to rush through the exhibit. But no worries, because it's time to pan for gold. Alright, who's ready to find some gold? Okay, I'm going to give you guys your pans, okay? Alright, now the reason why I have you guys take your mouths, fill it up with water, is because gold is extremely heavy. All right, gold's actually one of the heaviest elements on Earth. So when gold comes in contact with water, that gold is just gonna sink all the way down to the bottom, all right? Ready? So go ahead and take both hands and grab them right here. All right, just like that. All right, a little bit back more. So put your hands right here. Perfect, okay. Now those, those lines are called ripples. Now what they're used for is to help trap the gold so the gold doesn't fall out when we start to pan for it, okay? I'm gonna take this pan, we're gonna put some water in it, just enough to where the water covers the sand, okay? So we're gonna take the pan and we're gonna shake it left and right. Just enough to where the sand moves. We don't want to spill the sand out of the pan, okay? Perfect. You're doing it all by yourself. Go ahead and shake it up. All right. So now as we shake it, we're going to start tilting our pan towards the water so our sand's ready to come out and do some dips, just like so. Great job. All righty. Go back to shake it up again. All right. We're going to shake, 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 shake. We're gonna do some dead backwards dips this time. Just because we have garnets in your pan and you guys paid a lot of money for those garnets, so we don't wanna spill them out, okay? Okay, shake it up one more time for me, okay? Very, very slowly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take your pan from me real quick. I'll stay put and all my sand leaves my pan. Now I'm gonna take my leftover water and I'm gonna push my dirt from the top of my pan down to the bottom, especially my garnets, because all my gold's underneath that stuff. So I just gotta keep pushing it to the side and eventually all my gold is gonna start to appear just like so. All right. Now you're gonna take your finger, make sure your finger you're is really dry. dry. Wipe it, wipe it on your You're gonna bring it over to your vial. You're gonna press the gold like you're pressing a button and it's gonna stick to your finger, you see that? You're gonna touch on your vial of water, just like so. Boom. Perfect. All right. Good job. And go ahead and touch it on your vial. You see how the gold's gonna sink? Boom. All right, I'll go ahead and grab this guy for you. Uh, so you want to go ahead and grab it? Good job. All righty. Now with the little bag you have, you're gonna go ahead and start cooking your garnets now, okay? Right there, Sammy. Can you take your dry finger and poke it? Let mommy see Where it. Where is it? Poke it right there. Wait, here? Uh -huh. Where's your gold, Crislin? Over here. Over here? Where, where is it? There they are. Samuel, where's your gold? And I even have a lot of purple garnets. You do? Let me see. Did you get any? Samuel, did you have fun? Yeah. 